Hey what's up guys and welcome to another Arc Garage video. Today I'm going to show you how to get around the seatbelt alarm on Alfa Romeo Giulietta. First I'm going to show you a couple ways uh, to avoid it. Then uh, I'm going to turn it off all together and do it the proper way using the multi ECU scan. One thing that I have to warn you about when you are doing this kind of thing, always use the registered version of multi ECU scan. All right, uh, now as you can see right here on the top, I didn't put my seatbelt on, and now when I start driving and uh, when I exceed a certain speed, I get this very annoying. Uh, sound the thing about this sound is that it uh, goes out after a while however if I'm doing like uh, short distances it is uh, pretty much on all the time and that's one of the reasons that I'm doing this it uh, gets very annoying after a while uh, this is the easiest way to keep the sound off you can buy a couple of these for maybe like five ten euros and when you plug them in the car is going to think that the seat belts are on and the sound is of course going to be off however uh, i'm not really sure in quality of these uh, and i'm not sure how they would act in the case of collision so i don't really recommend them the second way to get rid of the seat belt alarm would be to cut one of these two wires that go out of the seat belt lock. The module itself measures the resistance of these two wires and when the seat belt is not on the circuit is closed. When you put your seat belt on the circuit is open and that signals the module that you've put your seat belt on. So essentially as I said you can just cut the wire and the circuit is going to be open. I gotta make this clear, the seatbelt lock doesn't have a dedicated connector, it's connected to everything else and the main connector is right under this plastic under the driver's seat. Since as I said uh, the seatbelt lock doesn't have the dedicated connector, it's not really easy like to connect and disconnect the wires so I really don't recommend you doing this if you followed my videos from before you can see that messing with seatbelts can actually prevent you from doing the proxy alignment properly. The third and the proper way to turn off the seatbelt alarm would be by using a diagnostic tool and that's exactly what I'm going to do. First thing you'll need to do this is this Elm cable. I got this off of eBay a couple of years ago. Uh, you are also gonna need this yellow adapter. It basically just plugs inside the Elm cable and uh, then you will plug the whole thing in the OBD port. And lastly, you will need a laptop and multi ECU scan. All right, I got my car selected, got the dashboard on the left side, then instrument panel Morelli. I'm gonna hit connect. And we are connected. You can see we got the invalid uh, ISO code right here and that means that this is not uh, the proper module. Uh, this means that uh, you saw that module list before and I basically selected the wrong one and even if I click right here it's gonna show me like some of the parameters however like you can see right here for the external temperature it says minus 38 so you can see that it's not displaying properly all of the necessary info And even if I hit right here the adjustments, you got the right odometer activate, seat belt alarm and deactivate it. However, as I said, since this is uh, the wrong module, I'm not gonna do none of that. I'm gonna hit disconnect and I'm gonna hit this one right here, instrument panel Siemens. I'm gonna hit connect. Now you can see that we don't have any messages whatsoever. Now all of our parameters should display properly. And you can see right here if I hit the external temperature 
it shows the right temperature right here we also got a few other things now initially I thought that the option for the seat belt is gonna be either in body control module or maybe the airbag module but that is not the case here you got the actuators you got the whole list right here and from this list you can select for example like uh, oil pressure light or something like that you can hit execute and you can check if that light properly displays at the dash you got a bunch of other options as well and basically this is used for testing uh, different things next I'm gonna hit adjustments and we got three of the same options that we had before I'm gonna select deactivate seatbelt alarm and I'm gonna hit execute it gives us a little safety warning right here I'm gonna hit Y and it is completed now I'm gonna disconnect everything and uh, we're gonna test it out if that worked okay so the seat belt is not on and I'm gonna take the car for the ride to see if uh, that little trick with multi ECUs can work and now as you can see uh, we are not getting any of the alarm sounds from the seat belt as I said in the beginning of the video the only thing that I would have to warn you about is that you always want to use the registered version of uh, this software I've uh, had some experience with the correct ones in the earlier years and some of the functions do not execute properly and you can actually do more damage than good so uh, for 50 euros I don't really think it's worth taking that risk another thing I gotta mention is that they have some kind of feature inside the software which can figure out if uh, you have actually bought the registered version if you are using the free version or if it's cracked and uh, they can do that even if your laptop is not connected to the internet anyway uh, that would be all for this video I hope you find it useful if you did hit that like button and support us by subscribing so we can grow even more and uh, make more videos like this for you